What are the best YouTube beginners cameras of the year? We got a list of three amazing cameras for you to start your YouTube journey in 2023. All of these cameras have quite similar functionalities and performance attributes, but different price tags and some extras to justify those price tags. At the end of the video, you can find out which one is best for you. So let's dive straight into the video. So three amazing devices we got for you are Nikon Z30 Canon EOS R10 And finally my favorite Sony ZV-E10 One of the primary reasons for selecting these fantastic cameras is that they are ready to shoot stunning content right out of the box It could be public content such as YouTube or personal memories they will never disappoint you. As I said before, all of these cameras have many similarities. So let's start with those similarities and then explore how they differ so you can decide which one is ideal for your needs. All three cameras can capture 4K video at 30 frames per second. But the Canon EOS R10 stands out since it can shoot 4K at 60 frames per second. As you are all aware, slow motion is a significant component of video content. This is only available with a Canon R10 out of the three cameras. Because all three cameras have a crop sensor, shooting 4K video at 60 frames per second with a Canon R10 results in a crop of 1.5. As a result, it may be inefficient for some persons. But wait! Since when 1.5 crop is no longer sufficient for YouTube, Facebook, or other social media networks, all you need to do is focus on your content rather than these little details. You can always improve your gear after you have a good following. Furthermore, all of these cameras have interchangeable lenses. However, there is a disadvantage because Nikon and Canon do not offer a broad enough selection of lenses. Sony, on the other hand, offers a broad range of lens possibilities. When it comes to quality, all three cameras deliver excellent results right out of the box. That means you don't have to mess with settings. Simply insert a battery and push the record button, and you're ready to go. Now that all of these cameras have HDMI connectors, you may link them to your computer or laptop for live streaming. However, you can utilize any of these cameras as a webcam. Even though it works well with mobile phones, their webcam tools can send high-quality video and audio for both Windows and Mac OS. I haven't tried it on an iPhone, but it works perfectly on Android. You may also attach your external microphone to all of them for better audio. The second benefit is that they all have a wonderful flip-out touch screen which makes vlogging and the overall filming process a lot easier. They all have excellent eye autofocus, so you won't have to worry about being out of focus while shooting yourself. Talking about the price, all these cameras come with under $1,000 price tags with kit lens. For instance, Nikon Z30 at $796, Sony ZV-E10 at $798, and Canon at $999 with an extra feature of slow motion. However, you can get a better value by purchasing secondhand cameras on Amazon, eBay, or at your local market. Now it's time to decide which one is best for you. To choose the best one, consider the camera's use and purpose. For example, do you want a camera for vlogging, talking head videos, live streaming, or video conferencing? Please do not underestimate, these cameras are all capable of practically anything you need to start with YouTube. Let's learn about Sony ZV-E10 first. Now Sony, in my opinion, is the greatest and overall winner among three because it has excellent and body stabilization and a wide range of lenses to pick from. In terms of functionality, 
The Sony ZV-E10 works best with static videos, such as podcasts, product reviews, and talking head videos. Furthermore, this camera is ideal to use as a webcam and for live streaming. However, it does not function as well as intended for vlogging. Because stability is essential for vloggers, and when you utilize the stabilization in the Sony ZV-E10, you'll get a large, odd crop. You might get terrified of looking at your own nose. Apart from that, it's great camera to start with. Canon struggles with the same crop issue when stabilization is enabled. However, if you want a flawless skin tone with vibrant colors, I believe Canon is the best option. But if you want to start a vlog, the Nikon Z30 is the ideal choice because of its excellent stabilization without cropped footage. Another topic I'd like to discuss is the issue of overheating. All of these cameras can overheat when filming continuously, but the Nikon Z30 is the worst of the bunch when it comes to overheating. And when it comes to overheating, the Canon EOS R10 appears to be the winner. Now I'll wrap up my video with my final thoughts. The Nikon Z30 is ideal for vlogging. Canon is best for longer form content, such as podcasts. And Sony is excellent for tripod mounted content, such as talking head videos, product reviews, and live streaming. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe to our channel for more. And I'll see you again in the next one.